weight gain and loss. Now, if you take a heavy object and you lift it up and down, uh, I think you'll agree you notice that uh, the object feels heavier sometimes and sometimes it, it feels lighter in your in your hand. Now, if you look at this carefully, you realize that uh, that apparent variation in the weight of the object depends on whether you're going with gravity or against gravity. Now, going against gravity would be if you're lifting it and speeding up. On the other hand, uh, if you're lifting it but then slowing down, then you're going with gravity. Uh, in other words, if you throw a ball up into the air, when the ball is going with gravity, it's rising and slowing down. Now, the ball, when it's falling, it naturally speeds up, and so going with gravity, with the uh, object that you have in your hand, uh, you're going with gravity if you're lowering the object and speeding up, but then if you bring it to a, to a stop as you're coming down, then it's coming down and you slow it down, and then you're going against gravity, and at that point the object should feel heavy in your uh, hand. Now, this kind of variation of weight uh, you could call a dynamic weight, and, and uh, this uh, same variation of weight occurs with characters. So for example, in different stages of a, of a jump, let's say that uh, the character first starts to drop into the crouch, and so they're uh, coming down and speeding up, and during that part they're uh, losing, losing weight. But then uh, when the character is uh, in the crouch and starts to push up, then uh, they're gaining speed going upward. At that point the character uh, feels heavy. It's as if the character is, is, has gained weight going uh, against gravity. Then uh, at some point the character is, is rising and slowing down. Uh, in fact, while the character is up in the air, the character is, uh, just as the beginning of the jump, the character is uh, rising in the air and slowing down. At that point they, they lose weight. And then on the very last stage of the, of the jump, in the uh, landing, uh, during the squash of the landing, the character is, is falling but uh, slowing to a stop, and in that settle, the uh, character, it's as if they gained weight. Now, these uh, variations of weight, uh, gaining weight and losing weight, uh, we can uh, measure this uh, by using a uh, digital force plate. Uh, this uh, digital force plate that you, you see me standing on is, is essentially just an electronic bathroom scale that um, can record data on uh, my laptop, and then the um, weight is displayed here on this uh, projector screen. And you'll see in the next um, clips that uh, I will be either gaining weight or losing weight depending on whether my motion is going uh, against gravity or with gravity. So uh, let's look at the first clip. I'm just going to be uh, going, uh, moving my torso up and down. So let's play this first clip. Now, if you watch that uh, carefully, you'll see that, uh, for example, here I am uh, rising and speeding up. So here's uh, two uh, frames. And if you look back on the graph, uh, my weight is going up. It's already larger than uh, my normal weight of about 180 pounds. It's, uh, I'm rising and speeding up, so I'm up to 200. 42 pounds, and in fact as I'm uh, 
speeding up even more, my weight rises to an impressive 322 pounds. Well, let's look at another example. Uh, and this one I'm uh, ra uh, raising and lowering just my center of gravity uh, by uh, flapping my arms. Now watch the screen in the back. You see the uh, graph. And you see how uh, my weight is varying up and down as I'm uh, flapping my arms. So uh, here, my um, normal resting weight would be about 180 pounds, but the, uh, these weight changes uh, go all the way down to a weight of about 50 pounds and up to uh, about 270 pounds simply by the fact that I'm raising or lowering uh, my center of gravity um, by flapping my arms. Uh, let's just look at one more uh, example. It's a very general motion. I wouldn't call this dancing. It's more like flailing around. So, so there you are. Now, uh, this variation in weight is uh, noticeable in uh, character effects. So uh, you see this in uh, the character's um, clothing, uh, the hair, if a character has uh, fur, uh, so forth. Um, this variation in weight uh, is visible in, um, in these character effects. Uh, here's an example. Watch the woman with the red hair. Watch her hair as she's walking. Here it's in slow motion. Make it easier to, to see those variations of her um, weight reflected in her hair. Now, Richard Williams uh, in uh, the Animator Survival Kit uh, describes this, or he calls this, uh, counteraction. And uh, there he writes, when the character goes up, the drapery or hair or soft bits go down. So here in this illustration from his book, uh, the character is coming down and speeding up. So she's going with gravity, uh, losing weight. Uh, this next pose, she's uh, moving upwards and speeding up, and so it's as if uh, she gains weight, everything on her body, her, her hair, clothing, uh, her body itself uh, seems to be uh, heavier. Let's see this in a short clip from uh, Madagascar 3. So watch um, Gloria as she's uh, running in this uh, scene. We see this counteraction in her body. So if you, if you look carefully, you see sometimes she's lighter uh, as she's going with gravity, say falling and speeding up. Uh, but then uh, in other uh, uh, parts of her run, uh, she's going against gravity, say uh, also falling, but slowing down, coming to a halt at the bottom of her step. And in that case, uh, she uh, gains weight, and, and we see this, in, especially in her uh, lower body. Um, now, I should mention that uh, this variation in uh, weight gain and loss, uh, you can also understand this in terms of follow through and drag. So uh, she's uh, coming and coming down in the step, and because of follow through, uh, her uh, body uh, continues moving uh, downward. So uh, this idea of weight gain and loss is not different from follow through and drag. This is just another way of understanding uh, this effect. So in, uh, in summary, uh, weight can vary when an object moves up or down, and that uh, depends on the acceleration. So if it's accelerating uh, downward, going with gravity, then it's a, a weight loss. If it's um, 
moving upward and speeding up its uh, weight gain. So, uh, so here it says uh, weight increases when the motion goes against gravity, such as rising and speeding up or falling and slowing down. Weight decreases when the motion goes with gravity, such as rising and slowing down or falling and speeding up. And this uh, weight gain and loss in animation is uh, sometimes called counteraction and uh, it's especially noticeable uh, in uh, character effects. Now you shouldn't confuse this with uh, weight shift. Uh, weight shift is a different concept and that's uh, covered in another uh, tutorial.